544. Time now for the traffic magician on this. Let's go places. Thursday evening, May 9th, 2013 at 5.44 p.m. Good evening, my I'm Peter Wicked. There's a traffic round. And Ariana. Thursday evening. Start off with the Tip O'Neill Tunnel and it's bumps to the bumper on both sides. Congestion from Zakenbridge all the way out to the Mass Pike and the Southeast Expressway Southbound side. Not very much better from the Mass Avenue all the way down to the Brain Tree Split. Northbound side. Kevin, that's pro. Hard escape from the Braintree split all the way out for a high to Adam Street and then congestion from Morsi Boulevard all the way out. But after you pass by, you're good to go on northbound side of the Southeast Expressway from Adam Street all the way out to the Mass Avenue because then you'll approach a slow spot on 93 in Boston. But a group of high school baseball players in California. Well, one off congestion from the on-ramp from 93 in Boston all the way out to Charleston. And Route 1 North can just around the area with Route 60 in Revere, so trial subs extra time. And Route 1 a little congestion around Broadway and Saugus, trial subs extra time on Route 1. No. Route 1 a a little congested around. The area of Bennington Street of 145 on the northbound side near Logan Airport, trial subs extra time. But otherwise, you're good to go from Boston to Revere. Here. Mass Pike. Eastbound congestion as you approach the Ted Williams Tunnel on the eastbound side. Mass Pike westbound congestion after you approach the Ted Williams Tunnel. But Mass Pike. Both sides congested from them. 93 all the way up to the Austin Brighton Tolls. Westbound side congestion from the Mass Pike from 93 in Boston all the way out to Route 128 in Weston, then it's creeping all the way to Route 9 in Framingham, so trust the next time eastbound of the Mass Pike. Congestion from Route 9 in Framingham all the way out to 128 in Weston, and it's creeping up all the way to 93 in Boston. Trust up to extra time here. 93 North Little congestion from Zakenbridge to Somerville. And on the southbound side, not very much better from the Mystic Valley all the way out to the Zakenbridge here. Athletics or for their community. Tell us about them. They could be featured on 7 News. You can nominate anyone. 93 who lives and attends school in the 7 News viewing area. Little can just around here to approach Route 120 and on both sides in red in here. 120. The Buzz brought to you by Twin River Casino. So much. South Full Congestion. From the Cost Street in Denver's only get to 114 people to trust us time, but it's good to go from Peabody to Gloucester. 120 is more on fine from Peabody to Linfield, but the main traffic problem of the day, 120 North South congestion from 93 in Redden all the way down to 95 in Westwood. So a long backup there. So if you're in that area, try to take your time and try to be patient. 120 North congestion from 135 in Needham all the way to 93 in Redding. So if you're in that area of 120, try to allow yourself a few minutes and try to be patient. Try to be calm, cool, and collected. Route 2 West, a little congestion from 495 Westwood all the way up to Devon's there. And Route 2 Eastbound, a little congestion from 19 to 62 in Concord. And went to a little congestion around the Lincoln area, Route 2. But otherwise, you're good to go from Lexington to Cambridge, except for a few spots. As Route 2, a little congestion is approached Route 316 in Cambridge here. 95 North is more fine from 128 to the New Hampshire border. 93 is more fine from 128 to the New Hampshire border. Route 3 North congestion from 62 in Burlington and all the way out to Trouble Cove, Grove, and Bill Wicca here. But otherwise, right, you're good to go from 128 to the Rhode Island, 128 to the New Hampshire border. 495 both sides more on fine from. Haverhill, Amesbury, 230 more from Methuen and Lawrence. 495 North, 
uh, congested around the area of Lawrence on exit 45 B. So try some extra time. 185 South Little congested around the area with Route 93 in Andover here, but 185 South congested around Route 3 in Lowell the Chenmansford here. 495 North congested from Route 3 to 3A in the Chumps of Lowell section. Little connector is modified. 495. Also in congestion around here with Route 2A in Littleton and 110 in Littleton. Stroud sub sector and Budweiser. 495 North come back to back. Backed up from the Mass Pike in Westboro all the way out to Route 20 in Marlboro. So try sub sector time. 290 old congestion on the eastbound side of the approach. 495 North from Marlboro. So try sub time. Budweiser. 495 is good to go from Westboro to Wentham and 495 South. Congestion approach to 95 in the men's field here, but otherwise 495 is good to go from men's field to Wareham. 95 south congestion from 120 in Westwood. It's a whole new hour with surprises to the very end. Exit 11, 95 in to Nepal Street and Norwood, and otherwise a little congestion from from South Main Street and Sharon all the way out to 152 in North Alabama in the southbound side, so 12 seven extra time. 24 south a little congestion from Harrison Boulevard and on to Route 27 in Brockton of Rise. We could go from. We're back right now, 10 minutes till 6 o'clock. 128 to the Red Island Boulevard Rise, a little congested as you approach. The outline of the city. Route. Dark clouds, blue. from 120, uh, was 120 congested yeah, and on both sides from 25 and all the way up to the Brain Tree Split. Route 3 South Bull congested on the northbound side is approach to the Brain Tree Split. Otherwise, 3 is modified for Brain Tree to Sagamore, 44 modified for Middlebury to Plymouth, 140 modified for Tuckton to New Bedford here. Okay, we're right down traffic picture, it goes like this 146 North congested from 99 to the Sales Road in North. Otherwise, we're good to go from North Smithfield, one socket area all the way out to North Providence, but on 146 South. Your way, Reading. 146 North, good to go. 146 South, different story. Congestion from Middle Spring Island all the way out to 95 in Providence there. 95 South, congestion from Pawtucket Province Line all the way out to 195 in Providence on the southbound side. And 95, a little congestion from there with Route 10 in Cranston there on the southbound side. Together in Millis now. Route 610 now. connector congested from down into Braintree. Federal Hill exit yeah. all the way yeah. out to 95 in Providence here. Uh, some light showers in Duxbury, and that's about it. I still. A little congestion on the northbound side of 95 from downtown Providence all the way up to. Up until about 7 o'clock when we get the Sox game going, so there might be a little bit of a rain delay until that point. But 295, the northbound, a little congestion from 295 in Albert, but all right. Showers. Another congestion spot of 295 from 146 in Lincoln to 122 in Cumberland there. The sea breeze is really, I think. 295, all right. You're moving fine from Lincoln to Warwick here. 146 is Milan. With 6 Milan 5 with Johnson to Providence. With 6 10th turns along fine. 37 right in our, our west is congested. We approach 295 north in Warwick. 95 mile five from Cranston. The, the Connecticut border. 4 is Milan fine from East Greenwich to North Kingsland. 130 is Milan fine from. Forecast. North Kings and Newport and Newport to Portsmouth. And Route 28, a little congestion approach Route 6 in Bourne, around the Bourne Rotary, but it's 25, 20, and 6 of Milan, find around Cape. That's going to be for the traffic magician on this May 9th, 2003, on this May 9th, 2013, on a Thursday. Pure and have a good day. What a good vibe to you. Bye bye for now. Here.